some of the best passing games in college football, some of the best receivers and pinpoint quarterbacks. So you need freakish athletes who know the game and don't blow coverages to get the job done and win ball games in that conference. UCLA packed with talent. Will they play well in 2016? We go to Mike Regalado of Gojo Bruin to help us set up the Bruins in the backfield. And Mike, we talked about it before we came on just a ton of talent here in the defensive backfield for the Bruins. Let's start at corner because you bring back uh, Marcus Rios. You got Fabian Moreau, who was lost to you most of 2015, but had 53 tackles in 14. You're you're pretty well stocked at corner. Let's start there. Yeah, the, the great thing about uh, what what Jim Mora has done uh, in the in the backfield, him and uh, Demetrius Martin, is is just phenomenal. They are so deep with a bunch of talent. I mean, they, this is probably the deepest and most talented um, uh, group uh, on both sides of the ball. It is just insane how, how much talent they have. They have so much talent that they could afford to have cornerback Ishmael Adams go to the other side uh, of the ball and, and play wide receiver. But uh, two very important uh, key players, Marcus Rios and, and um, uh, Fabian Moreau, who's coming off an injury, uh, you know, they're, they're just – really solid players who, you know, they're, they're going to handle, uh, handle the corners. Uh, they, they just match up well. They're, they're strong. Um, you know, uh, first off, considering that Marcus Rios had a brain fungus a few years ago and now he's playing, uh, he's starting at corner for a division one football team. I mean, that just says a lot about, you know, the, the willing, the will of this kid. Uh, and basically it's, it's pretty much the same across the board with, with all the defensive backs, but, uh, you know, the, UCLA was one of the best um, pass defense teams uh, in the Pac-12 last year. So I really expect uh, uh, that, that, that to continue. Uh, they were actually the best uh, pass defense team, and so that should probably uh, be the same thing this year, especially with how deep they are. Just so much, so much talent. Mike, I know you love the safeties. Jaleel Wadud, Randall Goforth. They uh, totaled almost, uh, let's see, over 140 tackles, four picks between them, uh, two of the best players in the conference is at, uh, at their position. Yeah, they, uh, they're just phenomenal. Uh, go forth. Uh, he's, he's just been a solid player, you know, every year. You, you know, he, does, he hasn't really digressed or he hasn't, you know, skipped a beat. It doesn't seem that he takes a game off. He's just really consistent. Uh, Wadud, he came out of nowhere as a true freshman, and he was a huge surprise. And because of what he could do on the field, his instincts, his IQ, his skill, uh, he he's it's earned him a, a starting role. And so the safeties, uh, they're, they're going to be really good. I mean, it's it's insane. There's an embarrassment of riches with UCLA right now. And so, uh, like I said, they're going to continue to have one of the best pass defenses um, in the nation. And you know, just the, the the guys that are behind them, you know, guys like uh, uh, what's his name, Tahan Goodman. Um, um, like they're, they're, you know, Nate Matters, he he was uh, he played a, a few games last year, uh, you know, true freshman, and he was pretty phenomenal. So to see guys like that and how they develop uh, this fall is going to be really interesting. And you know, for the next couple of years at least, UCLA really doesn't have to uh, worry about the uh, any defensive backs because they are loaded. Yeah, we've got a few other guys that we may not be talking about this fall, but could come into play and be prominent players in 2017 and beyond. I'm counting five other players that we haven't mentioned that were ranked in the top 50 at their position in the secondary over the last two recruiting classes, kind of headed up by Jachon Holiday, the eighth-rated cornerback in 2015, Brandon Burton, a guy that uh, I know UCLA people are very high on as a safety, the 13th-rated safety in this last recruiting class out of Gardena, uh, Keon Riley as well, 2016 safety out of Anaheim. So well fortified there. The defensive backfield looks pretty good, Mike. Yeah, it's it's just insane. The last two years, uh, UCLA only had two uh, defensive back commitments uh, this past National Signing Day, uh, but they've done really well. Um, I mean, you know, that might be a problem with some teams, but the fact that, that UCLA has been – doing really well with recruits uh, the last couple of years, uh, you know, they, they can afford to only pick up uh, two, uh, two defensive backs, but you know, guys like uh, Darius Pickett, John Johnson, um, Deshaun holiday, as you said, Octavius Spencer, uh, Nate matters who I just uh, I talked about him briefly. Uh, he's uh, just 
know that name matters. He's going to be really good. Will Lockett, Charles Darson, uh, Denzel Fisher. I mean, there's just so many young guys who are just waiting, uh, waiting in the wings to have their shot. And, you know, it's, it's just fantastic because uh, the Bruins are just loaded. Um, a lot of these guys, you know, they, they, they need to develop their game a little bit more, but a lot of them are quick, you know, they're strong. They have, you know, good field vision. Um, and, you know, going, you know, when they're going uh, against one of the, if not the best quarterback in the pac 12, uh, Josh Rosen in practice, you know, that's giving them, uh, you know, really good incentive, uh, giving them a lot of practice, uh, you know, against a good passing game. So, you know, like I said, it's, I, I believe UCLA is going to once again, have the best pass defense, um, and hopefully it's not because, you know, teams are running all over them again. So we already discussed that with the defensive line and the linebackers, uh, how defensive coordinator Tom Bradley really wants to shore up uh, the run defense. But uh, f- for now, UCLA has, it has no worries with the pass defense. Defensive back play vital in the Pac-12, especially in defensive back well-stocked at UCLA. Mike Recalato of Gojo Bruin helping us sort out the secondary play with the Bruins. Thanks so much, uh, Mike. Thank you.